little more though. But does finish him up. Gets two. Gets three. What a what a hit that hits him 65%. Whoa! And does it go in? It goes in! It goes in! Watch me fight! Good evening, Pio Nation. I hope you are doing well tonight. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Married Ecology Sports. I have missed you so much. It is great to be back, and I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to be doing with it because it just feels like it's been so long since I've been here with you guys. But here we are. We have our Overwatch team competing against East Tennessee State University in the NACE Star League Varsity Premier competition yes you heard that right our overwatch team has leveled up from varsity plus to varsity premiere so they're going to go up against some of the top overwatch teams in the country they are excited about it we are excited about it and we're going to be starting just a few minutes so that means i need to go over all the announcements before we get this uh, game underway so first of all, who is going to be playing for tonight? Well, I'm glad you asked here. So uh, I'm going to try to go in roll order. So we have returning to the Overwatch team, senior Tyler Salonidra Azadale, who will be playing uh, as tank. At DPS, we are going to have freshman Zachary Simpkins, OP Knees, and sophomore Jeffrey Dolby, Portal Runner. And at support, uh, we are going to have senior Bailey Matheny Argo and sophomore Corey McFan, C4 Gamer. Uh, I will mention that uh, C4 Gamer will be playing remotely. He did get per we did get permission from Nace to do so for uh, personal reasons. So when we do see his perspective, you're going to see a picture of him. But just so everyone's aware on that. But of course, we also have our coaches, head coach Derek Games, Games Grum, and our Overwatch coach uh, Morgan Knight, Neptune. Yes, our team is uh, getting psyched up. They're getting warmed up, ready to go against East Tennessee State University. But let's go over a couple announcements in the meantime. So first of all, we do want to give a shout out to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Merit College Esports. They are providing our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, mouse pads, microphones. We love the quality. Uh, it's been working great. We're using their Quadex uh, mic in our broadcasting room right now. I'm using their headsets as we speak. If you want to check out some HyperX gear to see if it's the right peripherals for you, please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash ES. The QR code is up on your screen. We also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza, uh, where they are help supporting our program by just broadcasting our matches. So even on Tuesdays, like right now, uh, if you can go to their restaurant on Front Street, get a great deal on pizza and drinks, but they will also be airing our matches. They also have game days on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And what I mean by that is they'll have a Nintendo Switch available where you can play games like Super Smash Brothers or Mario Kart or Mario Party. So definitely go check them out. Of course, we want to take a minute to thank all of our partners uh, that are help supporting our program. We also have Buy Blue Light, where we're working with them to get blue light glasses uh, for our students. We want to thank Elgato for, for helping us with getting the face cams for our students and the upgraded stream deck in our facility. We want to thank Incrediware for providing the athletic recovery sleeves that our students use. They absolutely love it. We also want to thank Kovacs for providing the aim training software that our FPS students uh, can use during their practices. And we also want to thank MSI uh, for providing several things. So they provide monitors for our broadcasting room. They help provide some, some nice swag uh, during our land fest uh, last semester. So do we, we do want to thank all of them. Uh, of course, we are always recruiting for our esports program, including Fall 2024. We have our varsity titles in Fortnite, League of Legends, Overwatch 2, Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, Super Smash Brothers, and Valorant. So, of course, we have our dedicated facility here uh, on campus. Uh, we have uh, several coaches for a lot of our teams. Uh, we have provide academic and wellness support because we want our students to succeed in college. And of course, there are scholarships available for high school seniors and college transfers. So you can go to our link tree for more information, linktr.ee slash Marietta Esports. It has links to all of our social media channels that you can follow. Uh, it has the forms on how you can try out uh, for a scholarship if you want to. So speaking of those scholarships, uh, yes, we do tryouts every month. Our next set of tryouts in February, we'll actually have two days. We'll be doing it on Saturday, February 10th and Sunday, February 11th. Now the one on the 10th will be in person. So if you are coming to the open house event, 
then you can try out while you're here on campus. If you're not coming to the open house, uh, we will be doing online trials through Discord on Sunday the 11th. You just have to fill out the recruitment inquiry form at bit.ly slash mcrecruit. Fill out the tryout form at bit.ly slash mcesporttryouts. And then join our Discord server at bit.ly slash Discord. So by doing all three of those, we can work with you to arrange the exact time for your trial. As a reminder, this is for high school seniors and college transfers who are planning to come in in fall 2024 or even spring 2025. And if you are a, a junior or a sophomore, we would still love to talk to you. We just can't try out just yet. But speaking of juniors and sophomores and freshmen, uh, we did put something out on social media the other day where we would love to talk to you guys. We would love to talk to your high schools. Uh, so if you are, if you know of high schools that have esports programs, we want to talk to your coaches. We want to talk to your students. So that way we can share what we have uh, available. So. Yeah, basically contact our head coach. So we provide his contact information here through email uh, or X, formerly known as Twitter, uh, or Discord. And that way we can arrange it. We've already set up a, a couple of virtual meetings with some of the uh, high schools in Ohio. So we know there's a lot of teams out there. So if you are interested, uh, if you are a high school coach or if you know of high school esports coach, pass along this information, please reach out to us and we would love to set up either a Zoom meeting or a Teams meeting, a Discord meeting, Google Meet, whatever platform works for you guys. So that way we can talk to you uh, about what our program has to offer. And of course, we wanna thank all of you for your support. Shout out to Storm TV YT for subscribing using Prime Gaming Sub. So this is a perfect segue for here. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you all for following and subscribing to our channel. Uh, subscriptions is one of our main sources of revenue to help provide opportunities for our students. In fact, uh, some of those gifts and donations may be used for an upcoming tournament that uh, our Rainbow Six team uh, will be participating this weekend. More details to come. Uh, but if you are unable to pay for a subscription, of course, there is Prime Gaming like Storm TVYT uh, just did. But if you have Amazon Prime and you have a Twitch account, you can connect it to to get Prime Gaming absolutely for free, which gives you all sorts of perks such as uh, free cosmetic items for certain games, maybe free games themselves. But it also gives you a free sub that you can use uh, at any for, for any channel of your choice. And I'm getting invited to the lobby, so I want to make sure I get in there. But yeah, I give you a, a free sub every month. You just have to make sure that when you click on subscribe, there's a little checkbox that says use my Prime Gaming sub. And then you get all the benefits of being a subscriber, such as using all the emotes that you see here. And apparently they kicked me out of the group. Thanks, Asadale. But anyway, okay. Uh, but yeah, you get the, the emotes that you see. There are follower emotes too that are completely free. Just by following our channel, you get the, the Marietta Pioneers uh, emotes, but you get all these others you see, except for the faces of uh, Derek and me. Those are tier two and tier three subs. But uh, yeah, I mean, your support would be greatly appreciated. But all right, we are getting things set up in this best of five series. Uh, first map is going to be Control, and it looks like it's going to be Oasis. What's interesting about this is Marietta got to choose the first map and historically if you've been following the team last semester they've always picked Lijon Tower but this time they're going with Oasis so if we get that post game interview I'm going to have to ask them about it because it's an interesting choice uh, just because of different styles here but now I'm just checking the uh, checking the lobby here But yeah, just making sure that everything is good to go. So I'm still waiting for the ready checks. This is a great time to subscribe to our channel while we're waiting, by the way, if uh, if you haven't done so, as we're uh, trying to wait for the, the ready checks to see if everyone's good to go. Double checking Discord. Don't see anything there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, they, oh, that was, Oh, that was like 10 minutes ago. But, all right, but it'll be very interesting with the, uh, see what composition the team goes with. 
Also, we're going to have to kind of make a note with Azadale because he was on the Overwatch team a couple years ago and he's kind of shifted around to different teams such as League of Legends and Valorant. So now he's returning to Overwatch for his final semester. So we'll have to see how well he's meshed with the team in such a very short time because he joined at the beginning of the semester. And it looks like we are getting things underway. So let's go ahead and get into Oasis. I almost said Legion Tower because I am used to saying Legion Tower here, but okay. So we will see what the conferences will be. And by the way, just so everyone knows, uh, the stream is on a three minute delay. Uh, that's just to make sure that compet competitive integrity is preserved. That way there isn't any stream sniping, and I'm going to try to do my best to make sure that I'm not giving away any pertinent information, although I don't think the team's going to hear me anyway. They got their headsets on. They're on Discord. They're not listening to anything I say, although if they yell and scream, I'm going to hear it. You guys might hear it too, but, uh, but all right, so we're going to see what composition the Pioneer's going to go with. They are going to be on the blue side. And it looks like Merida is going to be going with a dive composition as a deal on the Winston. No, he's actually going to swap over to Ramatra. Porter Runner going to stick with the Genji. We've seen some insane plays last semester with Porter Runner. Oh, no, now he's actually swapping to Soldier. Everyone's swapping their uh, heroes, so I don't know anymore. Opinis is going to be on May. C4 Gamer is going to stick with Lucio. He loves playing Lucio. Argo is going to stick on the uh, Baptiste. And it looks like we are getting things underway. So let's get over there. And having some camera issues for Azadale. I have to see here if he forgot to get his uh, camera on. I think he did. Let's see here. There's Portal Runner. All right. I'm going to have to make sure Azadale gets his camera on because he forgot to do that beforehand. So you're not going to be able to see his lovely face just yet. But all right, looks like East Tennessee State is already on the point first. Marietta is trying to jump in. OP is trying to get the freeze onto me. Pops the wall to disrupt, but it's going to fall back. You got C4 Gamer going to be popping those heals, trying to keep everyone up. Porter Runner does end up falling. Immortality Field is going to be coming up, but it gets taken out immediately by uh, Beppo or Beppo. I don't know how you pronounce that. Argo's trying to keep Azadale up. The Vlog Porter Runner is coming back. Azadale in the meantime, trying to get some pressure onto the point. And Marietta is going to try to start capturing, but East Tennessee State is going to continue to contest already at 21%. But we're going to see OP trying to get a pick. But right now, he says he said is using this middle tower as kind of coverage. The Horror Runner already gets taken down again, using the main wall to take out the Diva. And Diva does end up going down. But we're going to see the Echo ulting into the Ramatra. And we're going to see uh, Bebo putting out a ton of damage. And Merida is going to have to fall back. So now the point's at 53%. Marietta is going to have to regroup. Hello. So it looks like they're going to try a different angle here. Portal Runner is looking for that opportunity. They've been targeting him in every single fight. And they have to watch the flank from behind with the Tracer using the Pulse Bomb. But it does not connect. And the Kasuni is going to be coming out for East Tennessee State. But Mary is going to try to use opportunity to charge it. Azadale popping his ultimate. Already taking down Kiriko. But Argo is going to get fall down behind. Diva Bomb is going to be coming out. So everyone's going to try to duck for cover. But Azadale does get blown up. But Diva is going to be able to get back in her mech. Tracer going to be dashing away. But Portal Runner is going to take a bunch of damage. Gets up taken down. And the point's at 96%. And with that, I don't think Marietta is going to be able to get this first round. But yeah, it is going to go to uh, East Tennessee State. Score zero to one. All right, so we are going to get things uh, set up for the next round.
just let him know that uh, Azadel needs to get his camera on at some point. All right, next round has begun. So now C4 Gamer is going to use that speed boost to try to get the team into position. But we're going to see that East Tennessee State also has a, uh, a Lucio. And they're going to try to fight onto the point first. But actually, Mariana is going to try to take that space. And they're going to have to break through the Maywall and the Sigma Shield. And the team does get separated. As they'll take a ton of damage. Immortality Field does keep him up for a little bit, but still at critical health. And does end up falling. And Marietta is going to get pushed back. Porter Runner trying to get some damage to help, but Marietta's going to have to concede the point. And Maywall is going to cause a problem there for Argo taking him down. Obi is going to try to use the ice block to stay alive, but East Tennessee State is pushing back the Pioneers, so they're going to have to regroup. Now the point's at 18%. So they are going to try to find a pick, but we see East Tennessee State is very close together, just literally on top of each other. Looks like they are going to try to rotate around. And they're going to start charging in. Immortality Field already taken out, and C4 Gamer is going to fall. So they're going to try to take down this Sigma, but Immortality Field is going to come out. It gets taken down, but OP Knees is going to fall, so that's already two down for the Pioneers. And Merit is going to have to push back. Portal Runner's trying to flank from the side, but he's getting harassed by this Lucio. Already gets taken down. So Merit is going to have to regroup points at 46%. Looks like Merit did get the point for a little bit, but East Tennessee State is going to take it back. Now Argo gets picked off, but we are seeing a couple ultimates ready to come online for the Pioneers, but we already see two, almost three, ready for East Tennessee State. <coughs> Excuse me. So Mary's going to be mindful of that Graviton Flux. That Graviton Flux plus the uh, Artillery Shell could be a very deadly combo for East Tennessee State. So Mary's got to be very careful. Blizzard's about ready, is ready to come on. There's the Artillery Shell from East Tennessee State. Now Mary's going to have to try to dodge it. They take some damage. Blizzard's going to be coming out. C4 Gamer does fall to the Artillery Shell. And Maywall is going to separate the team. And we're going to see this Bastion flanking from behind. It does get taken down by Argo. And Marion is able to get the point back. But it's a one-for-one -one trade. And C4 Gamer is the only one that's up. Points now at 78% for East Tennessee State. So here comes the Graviton Flux, going to try to separate. Here comes the Sound Bear to keep everyone alive. Great use of that ultimate, but C4 Gamer is still going to fall. So does Azadale. Points at 95%. Marion has got the right touch. OP Nice gets taken down. Can Portal Runner contest? But he's going to get pushed back. It's at overtime, but he's not going to be able to stay on there. And the first map is going to go to East Tennessee State. Play of the game will go to, uh, it's going to go to Beepo from East Tennessee State with that great play with the Echo Ultimate. There it is, bringing out the Ramatra. And just dealing a ton of damage, not even having to pop the ultimate, but pops it right away to get that last kill onto OP Knees. So the first map will go to East Tennessee State. The, uh, that's where I thought I updated the score. Oh, I didn't click the button. There we go. See, this is what happens when I haven't streamed in like almost two months. But okay, so now we got the score. Uh, Marietta will get to choose the next map. It is going to be hybrid. So we'll see what they pick. Mary, and then uh, Marietta, I'm sorry, Marietta picks the map. East Tennessee State is going to pick the side. So they are going to talk things over a little bit. And I'm gonna make sure that the cameras are working properly. So I'm gonna take a quick break myself uh, as we I try to make sure that uh, everything there is working properly. So just give me one minute. I'm gonna be right back and then we'll get into uh, map two here.
welcome. Okay, there we go. All right, welcome back. Um, apparently, OBS just kind of closed in the middle of the game. We're not so sure what happened there, but uh, we should be good now. I'm going to try to see if I can catch the... Uh, yeah, there we go. Everyone look, looks good there. I forgot that I had this one scene where I can actually just check all the cameras at the same time. Although, we got to really work on repositioning the cameras for some of them, but... Kind of reminds me, if you ever watched um, Home Improvement, it's like the neighbor that's like it's like this. I, I could do this because of the overlay. I see that for some of the cameras. But anyway, uh, let's check in here. It looks like uh, East Tennessee State is going to take defense, whatever map Marietta picks. So I think they're still talking over uh, what that will be. Does not look like there's going to be any swaps on Marietta's side. So yeah, right now we're just kind of waiting for the uh, the next map to begin. Uh, while we're waiting, I don't have any ads for this in particular, but uh, just to give everyone a heads up that in a couple weeks will be our Day of Giving live stream. So if you remember every year on Valentine's Day, it is the college's annual day of giving. That's because Marietta College was founded on February 14th, 1835. So we celebrate that by basically asking you guys to give us money. Not a great way to celebrate the college's birthday, right? Please give us birthday money. But uh, we will be doing a 10 plus, a 12 plus hour live stream starting at 10 a.m. Uh, we got a great lineup with some Persona, uh, some Resident Evil 2. We got some Black Ops. Uh, we got some, I think, Lego, was it Lego Batman? I think it's Lego Batman. But working on the promotional image right now, but just letting you know that's coming up on February 14th. So mark, that, mark your calendars uh, for that, so that way we can stream it. I'll be doing something as well. I got a little surprise for that, which I will be revealing uh, very shortly. Not today, but in the future. But uh, yeah, I think it'll be a really fun time that our students get a chance to, to stream games that they love and you can enjoy it with them and help support uh, our esports program. So we do uh, generally, we do genuinely appreciate uh, all your guys' support uh, throughout the years. So I'm really stoked. Looks like King's Row is going to be the next map. Uh, East Tennessee State is ready. We're waiting for Marietta to be ready, and it looks like they're ready, so we're gonna go ahead and get into King's Row. Now entering King's Row. All right, so Marietta will be on offense first, so this is an, an important round. And that's because, and we've talked about this every time, uh, we play King's Row or a hybrid or an escort. If the team on defense does well, they will not have to go as far to win their round. So it's kind of like having a home team advantage or like overtime in co uh, college football, where if you're on defense, you have that advantage because you know what your win condition is. So Marietta needs to make some really good progress on the, the getting the payload and ideally get all the way to the end to put that pressure on East Tennessee State. But if they don't, it's going to make it easier for East Tennessee State to be able to take the, the map. And since it is a best of five, first to three will take the series. And with East Tennessee State already taking one, having them go up 2-0 could be a, a challenge for the Pioneers. Hey. All right, so it looks like we're going to see a s almost similar comp from before. Point one are going to be going back to the May. OP Knees is going to actually bring out the Bastion this time. Asadale will stay on the Ramatra. So let's get things underway. Now we got this camera working. Hopefully OBS will not crash on this time. But looks like they're going to be working their way around the back ways. But they are waiting because it looks like East Tennessee State knows exactly what they're doing. So they're going to try to pop that shield right there to, to keep everyone alive. But Portal Runner falls, but he does get back up. So the team takes some damage, but they're going to be okay. C4 Gamer going to be escorting everyone over with the speed boost. Trying to keep everyone healed up. So Mary's looking for the opportunity to jump in, and they're going to go right in. Already trying to put some damage onto the Sigma, who's going to be absorbing a lot of the damage. 
The Azadel already about half health. They're gonna have to retreat into the hotel for some cover. Porter Runner trying to get some damage out. And we're already seeing Window coming out for Argo, but Porter Runner does get taken down in the process. So a lot of damage going out. And C4 Gamer OP needs to also fall in mortality. He falls. And it's just Azadel that's left trying to stay alive, but he's gonna end up falling. And now the team is gonna have to reset. Just not able to get a pick from East Tennessee State. Like they're trying to dish out damage, but it just seems like they're getting healed back up very quickly. So they're gonna have to pick a target and everyone's gonna have to collapse because this is the thing about Varsity Premier. These are much better teams than the teams that they were facing last semester in Varsity Plus. A lot of these teams are going to be master level, grandmaster. There's even going to be some top 500 players on some of these rosters. So it's definitely going to be a big challenge for the Pioneers. Azale is going to be looking for the flank from behind. The main wall is going to trap him out. Ice Block's going to be coming out. Ground Trump Flux is going to be coming out. Using that defense to keep Azadale alive. We're going to see a bunch of damage coming out. Porter Runner's already falling. Sound Barrier is going to keep Azadale up a little bit longer. But there's just not a whole lot of healing. OP needs falls. C4 Gamer's about to fall. But with Argo going down as the one of the main healers, there's just not a whole lot there to, to keep everyone alive. Uh -oh. yeah, he's to get this. Uh -oh. So now everyone's gonna create a group Minute 33 remains. And so far, Marion has gotten one tick onto uh the capture point, but they're definitely going to need to find something here. Artillery Shell is ready for OPD, so we may see that in this play. Azadale almost has his ultimate online too, but we see three ultimates ready to go for East Tennessee State. We're going to see that Blizzard coming out by Vipo. OPD is looking for a play. Does get one, but three for the Pioneers go down in the process. So a one for four trade, and now we're going to see everyone has to fall back. One minute remains. So they're gonna try to group back up here. They still have Azadale's ultimate and OP knees. They're gonna have to make a play. Azadale's looking for a play. We're gonna see Artillery Shell coming out for OP knees. Looking for a pick, does get Immortality Field and the Lucio. Here comes Gravatron Flux, it's another pick. And this is Marietta's opportunity right here. Already taking down everyone but the Sigma. They just gotta get him under control and they're gonna start making some ticks off the point. And that's exactly what the Pioneers need to get into this game. Looks like East Tennessee State is going to concede, but Marietta will capture the point. So they will stay in this round. But great coordination there by the team. A huge artillery shell by OP Knees to get the damage out. Azadale pops his ultimate. Just so much AoE damage. And then OP Knees is able to go in there and get the necessary picks on the healers. But now we see ST East Tennessee State is not deterred by that. Vipo getting a quick pick onto OP Knees. So that's going to slow down the Pioneers just a little bit. Two minutes and 20 seconds remain in the round. So Mary's gonna have to try to find that opening board runner. Does have Blizzard ready to go, but we do see the two support ultimates ready for East Tennessee State. See Argo trying to keep his heal up, and the Immortality Field comes out trying to keep everyone alive. Blizzard's just gonna do the zone, but Sound Barrier comes out, but they do take down two right there. Beepo and Monka S end up falling. So though Sigma is right onto the payload, trying to stall progression, and OP Knees does get taken down. Graviton Flux is coming out, but Sound Beat area is going to come out for a C4 Gamer to help negate that. A big stuff for Azadale, but he's going to stay alive. C4 Gamer does get picked off. And this Lucio is causing a lot of problems, but he's going to get taken down. So Marietta will try to continue moving that payload. Looking to fight this Sigma, and they do give him down, which is a huge stagger there. So that's going to delay East Tennessee State from moving back. So we're starting to see that momentum swing it into the Pioneers' favor about halfway through that second leg with a minute 16 to go. All they have is window available for Argo, but Azdale is about to have his ultimate in just a second here. Meanwhile, East Tennessee State has burned all their ultimates. Their artillery shell is almost ready to go, though. So we see they're gonna start grouping up there, trying to get some damage onto the Sigma. And he's gonna be very aggressive, but OP Knees immediately gets stunned and taken down. And Pioneers grab the fallback. C4 Gamer gets taken down. Maywall's gonna try to put up some defense, but 
We see the Pioneers just gonna have to retreat and regroup. Argo is may get caught. He's trying to hide, but I think he's gonna get taken down. He's trying to stay alive, but yeah, he's gonna get picked. 35 seconds remain. So now they're gonna have to wait for Argo to respawn. But this is gonna be a critical 30 seconds. Gonna have to use that speed boost. They're gonna have to pop everything they got just to keep the uh, match going, or at least this round going, I should say. So we see Blizzard coming out. There's the artillery shell. Azadel going right onto that bat bastion, but does a so much damage. It's just not enough. Although Obi needs takes down a couple, but he ends up falling. And I think Argo's gonna try to stay, but he gets picked. And the early overtime Super Gamer is still on the payload, trying to keep this alive as much as possible. But he is very low on health, trying to get the boops off. Sound Barriers is up for East Tennessee State being popped out. Here comes the Artillery Shell for East Tennessee State used as well, trying to zone the Pioneers off. Seaford Gamer falls. Azadale has swapped over to Doomfist to try to stay on the point. It's gonna take the, the hit. They're trying to lay as much as possible. The LP needs on the Tracer. And they're just trying to keep this alive as much as possible, but they're just not able to do it. They got so close to that second checkpoint and a great job of keeping it delayed it is just not enough. All the ultimates for East Tennessee State came up online at the right time. But that is still a good round for the Pioneers. So now we're going to take a look at First of all, I gotta figure out my bearings. Where am I going? Hello? What, what, what am I doing here? I'm lost. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm stuck. Open the doors. You know what? I'm just gonna do it this way. All right, that's how we're gonna do it. Cause like I got stuck and I can't remember where I'm going. But anyway, uh, while they're getting into position, we're gonna see there, that right there is where Tennessee State, East Tennessee State needs to be to be able to take the map. So let's see if the Pioneers can stop them. They are gonna stick with the same composition as before. Meanwhile, we're going to see the same composition from East Tennessee State. That's been working for, uh, for them with the Sigma, Bastion, and May combination. But this first point is going to be the critical part. If Marietta can hold them for at least a good while, that can give them the advantage going to the second leg. But we already see a lot of damage flying out for these teams. Porter Runner trying to pop some with the walls for some uh, separation. But right now, everyone just kind of going to everyone's face. Obi needs an Azadale taking a lot of damage. Argo already gets taken out from the back, and so does Op Knees. And we're gonna see this first fight going. Yeah, that's gonna be a team kill for East Tennessee State. And we're already gonna see East Tennessee State trying to buy that space, and that's gonna be a challenge for the Pioneers because they gotta get over here, and they're gonna have a lot of time to get to that. They're gonna have five and a half minutes. So Mary is gonna try to get the picks, try to push East Tennessee State back, but there's a lot of time on the clock to get to that second leg. So Mary is gonna need to find the, the right picks. And we're already gonna see ultimates coming out for East Tennessee State. And that turret got absorbed by the Sigma. And Marion is already gonna have to fall back. And this is gonna be a problem for the team. Azadel getting immediately stunned. And Ground on Flux is gonna be causing some issues for the Pioneers. And Argo falls because of that because they didn't have Sound Barrier ready to go just yet. But Mary is getting pushed all the way back to their spawn point, and there's just not much that he can do about it. So 
So C4 Gamer are gonna try to taxi the team over to payload, but they gotta move over now because the payload's almost at the, the destination with four minutes and 15 seconds to go. Artillery shells already coming out. Marion is gonna have to get through. And we're already seeing Blizzard coming out, but it's just not enough. And East Tennessee State is able to get there before the Pioneers can get back to contest it. Play the game. We'll go to OPDs, though, on that huge play there with the Artillery Shell to take down the Lucio. Finish off the May and just doing a bunch of damage there to take the point. But unfortunately, it's just is not enough. And East Tennessee State will take King's Row. So it is going to be match point uh, for them. Next one is going to be Flashpoint. Marietta gets to choose the map. Of course, with it being Flashpoint, we don't have to worry about side selection. So the team's going to have to talk things over and think about what adjustments uh, they are going to be making here. Because this is a, a very different uh, ballpark compared to what they were up against uh, last semester. In their league, they were facing a lot of gold average teams with a, a couple of di platinum diamonds in there. But now they're going up against the uh, some of the bigger teams in the country. So while it's exciting that you get to play against some of these really big teams, it can also be... Uh, it could be a challenge. In fact, let me just take a second here, and I want to pull up. Let's see if I can do this real quick while we're getting things uh, set up here. Uh, let's see if I can pull up the Overwatch schedule, just so you guys have an idea of what they're going to be doing, because we did put that out on social media. Just give me a second here. Do I have an Overwatch schedule? I do not, so let me create a new one here. And let me pull this up. Desktop, Twitch. And right there. So let me just uh, pull it up here just so you guys see uh, what the schedule is going to look like for the team. So, of course, right now they're playing against uh, East Tennessee uh, State. And honestly, I don't recognize any of the other logos. Why did I pull up the picture when I don't know the logos? Give me a second here. I got to. We wrote it in Discord a while back. So uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay, it looks like there is going to be a substitution. Uh, Juggernaut's going to be coming in for Argo. So I'm going to make sure that's updated on my end. Uh, but let's see if I can find... Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? That's... That's Seelaw. Uh, let's see here. it this way okay here we go um so yeah they're playing east tennessee state right now uh next tuesday actually no two tuesdays next week's a bye week on the 13th they'll be playing against columbia international university and then on the 20th they'll be playing against purdue fort wayne and then on uh, february 27th they'll be playing against george mason university march 5th they are scheduled to play against Waukesha County Technical College, that is probably going to be rescheduled because it is spring break. Uh, so we will find out when that is. Uh, and then they will close out by playing against University of Central Oklahoma on March 18th. But that is going to be the uh, schedule for the Overwatch team uh, for this semester. Uh, all right. Uh, we are getting things set. It looks like Suravasa will be the map for uh, Flashpoint. And everyone in chat is talking about the Super Bowl. And it looks like everyone's just rooting for Taylor Swift's boyfriend. Go figure, right? But anyway, uh, we're just waiting for everyone to uh, get ready, and then we'll be good to go. I will go ahead and throw out that the schedule for the rest of the week, we have quite a few things going on. So on Thursday, our Rainbow Six team will be playing in the Nasar League varsity premiere for... Rainbow Six will be playing against uh, James Madison University at 7 o'clock. Our League of Legends team will be playing against Miami of Ohio at 8. Uh, what we'll do is we'll try to stream the League of Legends match after the Rainbow Six match. And then on Saturday, we got three matches. Our Smash team will have a doubleheader against Heidelberg and St. Xavier University. And then League of Legends will be playing against St. Thomas 
at four o'clock. But all right, we are in Suravasa, so let's get this underway. It is match point for East Tennessee State. So we'll see what the Pioneers can do here. Chat, if you think the Pioneers can do the reverse sweep, if you think that they can play the Uno reverse card, show them your support, give them your energy. Do want to give a shout out to Gnarly for giving out uh, five subs to the community. So thank you so much for that. But let's get the hype going and cheer on the team as they are going to try to pull off the reverse sweep against East Tennessee State University. So we'll see what composition the uh, Pioneers decide to go with. Alright, it looks like a very different com uh, composition here. Now, I do need to make one adjustment here to make sure the cameras are correct. So I'm going to try to do that real quickly as we're getting things uh, set up. So let's just do this real quick. All right, there we go. All right, let's get this underway. So Azale's going to be on Junker Queen, but looks like Mary's going to go with a more brawly type composition. Already trying to get to the, the point first. And we're going to see what the addition of Juggernaut on the Kiriko uh, does here to try to get some pressure and try to keep the, the Pioneers alive. But we're already seeing that the control point is active. Marion is going to try to start getting the, uh, trying to capture it. And it looks like they will get it. Azadale taking a bunch of damage, but he will get healed up. We see OP knees looking for that pick. Juggernaut does get does fall, but Xenon also falls. So it's a one for one trade. Tank versus support. OP is gonna have to use the uh, ice block, but East NC State is gonna capture the point back. Azadel looking for that pick, but not able to get it. Trying to contest onto the point, and Azadel does get a pick onto Kiriko. C4 Gamer does have Soundberry ready if needed to. Port Runner is gonna fall. And Monka S is going to fall. Marion is looking to try to capture it back. So Marion's able to get some picks. Portal Runner to swap over to Genji. Seeing that the Sojourn just not making the, uh, the grade in this case. But Marion will take it back. Already at 40% versus 35 for East Tennessee State. So I'm going to see Opie trying to get some long range picks with the icicle but East Tennessee State is looking to flank back and forth we're gonna see Junker Queen versus Junker Queen Blizzard's kind of come out as well as Sound Barrier actually quite a few ultimates are gonna be coming out Azale's looking to get some damage out but and we're gonna see Kasuni coming out for East Tennessee State but we're going to see Reckoning coming out for Xena as well. And lots of ultimates coming out. C4 Gamer is going to pop that sound barrier. C4 Gamer opening and Juggernaut already fall. Porter Runner is going to go down. So Marietta gets it to 99%, but it's just not enough. So East Tennessee State will capture it. So Marietta needs to group up. They do have Reckoning. They do have Kasune. Dragon Blade's almost ready to go. So if they use their ultimates wisely, I think they can get this first point. So all eyes really is going to be on Portal Runner here to be ready for that Dragon Blade as soon as that gets to 100. Kasuni is going to be coming out right away. And Marion is already trying to get onto the point. Lots of damage is flying out. Here come. And Lucio does end up going down. Trying to get some damage onto that Junker Queen. But OBDs and Juggernaut already fall. They do get the pick onto Juggernaut, but... Here comes Dragon Blade for Portal Runner, but it might be a little too late. And gets taken down, and that first point will go to East Tennessee State. That is just unfortunate. Yeah, I, I mean, he had it ready to go. He should have popped it a little bit sooner while everyone was engaging, but he had to back away. And by the time he popped it, everyone was dead. So Mary is going to have to regroup.
So now the flashpoint's about to unlock, so they are going to be contesting with each other. Right now, the only ultimate that's about to be online is Sound Barrier for East Tennessee State. And Juggernaut takes a ton of damage, has to teleport away, but he does stay alive, has to burn his Immortality Blossom. But East Tennessee State is going to capture the point first. And just a lot of projectiles are flying. Although OP needs just about has Blizzard ready, Sound Barrier is ready to go. C4 Gamers are going to pop it to go for the engage, trying to get take out this Junker Queen. Sound Bear is also going to be coming out for East Tennessee State. Reckoning comes out for East Tennessee State. Blizzard's going to be coming out for OP Knees. They're trying to take down Zeon, and Zeon does end up falling, but so the C4 Gamer. Mary's going to try to get back onto the point. Azadale looking for that Sojourn, but not going to get it. He's actually maybe a little overextended and does get picked off. So does Juggernaut. Quarter Runner's gonna try to get some damage out. Takes down Beepo. Looking to take down Lucio, but he's gonna end up falling. So East Tennessee State is going to hang on. Now it's at 78%. It seems like the Pioneers are just a little separated. But now the point's at 93%, so Marion needs to go in to contest. So they're going to jump in. It is overtime. Mary is trying to contest Azadale. Looking for the pick, but Kasuya is going to be coming out for East Tennessee State. Although Kiriko does end up falling. Looking for the, the takedown Lucy, but Juggernaut's also going to fall. So both Kirikos are down. Porter Runner ends up falling, but Azadale takes down the Junker Queen. So it's another one for one trade. But it's actually three versus two. Azadale takes down Beepo. Azadale trying to take down that Lucio. Swipes the hammer, but C4 Gamer's gonna fall, so it's just Azadale that's left. Pulse Bomb does get him, he's gonna end up falling, and the second point will go to East Tennessee State. So now East Tennessee State is, is just one point away from taking this match. So they are talking things over, they're gonna have to make some adjustments, because right now Meredith's backs are to the wall. So they are going to head over to this third point. They do have Reckoning. They do have Kasune. They do have Dragon Blade. They're about to have Sound Barrier. They don't need to use all of these. They need to make sure they line up their ultimates properly. But they got to watch their positioning. Asadale is already charging in. Maywall is going to take kind of isolate some team. Here comes the Kasune. But Seaborn Gamer immediately gets picked off by Beepo's ultimate. And the Sound Barrier is going to keep East Tennessee State alive. Beepo with a second... Oh, the quarter runner is going to fall. Azadale is going to take it out. So the team's going to reset. Opinis is going to pop that ice block, but it's just going to delay the inevitable. So now Merida is going to have to group back up. So they only use Kasune for that, but they still have three ultimates. Meanwhile, East Tennessee State just about has Reckoning, but it's not there just yet. Now Marinus needs to find the right opening, although OP needs gets picked off. It's not what the team needs when they're about to go into a big fight. That Tracer is definitely trying to do some harassment from behind the, the lines. Reckoning's going to come out and it gets three of the Pioneers. Portal Runner immediately gets taken down from that Reckoning. So does C4 Gamer. Tries to use the Sound Barrier but falls before it goes off. And that's going to delay the Pioneers even further. Points already at 80%. Marriott has got one shot left to stay in this match. We see Opie needs swapping the Tracer. But they're going to have to go to the point and contest and just use everything they got. And Portal Runner is going to pop that Dragon Blade to try to get something. But Juggernaut and C4 Gamer have already fallen. And Portal Runner is not going to get a whole lot. As they'll try to get onto the point, uses the Reckoning, but just a split second too late. And East Tennessee State will take the map and the match. Play of the game is going to go to Kiriko for East Tennessee State. And just getting those picks, the combinations of those alts. So with that, East Tennessee State uh, will take down the Pioneers 3-0. to zero. So the Pioneers are going to have to make some adjustments. Uh, as I said a couple times, this is a different competition compared to uh, Varsity Plus. 
The teams are going to be better. And while the Overwatch team did step up last semester, they're, they're seeing that they have quite a bit of work to do to be able to compete against some of these teams. The good news, though, is the team does have a buy next week. So they can use this to learn from, to do VOD review, and expect them to be able to learn a lot from uh, this match as they prepare for their next match in two weeks. Uh, as a reminder, we will have more matches for you this week. Thursday, our Rainbow Six team will be playing at 7. Immediately following, we'll uh, show our League of Legends match. And then we'll have three matches on Saturday. And then next week, our Rocket League team will be competing uh, starting on Mondays. And then our Smash team will also have matches on Thursdays. So we're getting right into the, the thick of things. So for all of us here at Marriott College Esports, please be sure to follow us on Twitch, X, I'm going to probably say Twitter, because Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Shout out to all of our supporters. HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Marriott College Esports. We also want to thank Buy Blue Light, Over the Moon Pizza, uh, MSI, Kovacs, uh, Incrediware, and what's the last one I'm forgetting? Give me a second. It's been a while. Oh, and Elgato, what am I thinking? Yeah, and thank you, Elgato, as well as for your support. Uh, thank you all as well for your follows. Thank you for your subscriptions and your gift subscriptions. Thank you for your gifts and donations. Uh, they are truly appreciated, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a great night.